Hey there. Hi. Hey, Henry. <laughs> hey, Daniel. Hey. I saw that you, I, 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 I wanted to join just to say hi because uh, I don't <laughs> have any to... much time to, to discuss with you anymore. <laughs> Yeah, you want to see me? I could not, I, I'm happy to see you. <laughs> Hello. Awesome. Matt, Matt. Nice. nice to meet you, Matt. Nice to meet you as well. Hi, Matt. Hi, how are you, Daniel? Thank you for um, uh, taking a whack at the mission statement in, in, the, um, in the talk. Yeah, just, just no biggie. <laughs> it's one of those small things that you kind of uh, shift along and then when you sit down doing it it takes 10 minutes so <laughs> I feel like I have a great a great list of many tiny things um, given the proximity to Christmas we might actually be uh, a pretty small meeting uh, uh, this week we'll see hey there's Richie But you are also Henrik. You are also re representing Potato Head Head today, or? Uh, good question. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Richie. Hello. Hi, Richie. Nice to meet you. Hi, Scott. Hey, Richie. Hey, sure. Depending on Christmas specifics, I might need to drop early. I don't know. Yet. Yeah, this. This might be, a, you know, given the proximity, it's Christmas week. A lot of people are on vacation anyway. Um, so this might be a pretty quick call, but we do have it uh, recorded. Um, so that's good. Uh, everyone in the call, feel free to write yourselves into the meeting notes to show that you care so much that you actually joined in the week of Christmas. Well, I guess um, we, we can just start again. Um, I, I haven't heard from very many other people uh, and a lot of people that normally show up are, are offline entirely. Uh, so um, thanks for, for joining. I think we usually take a minute at the beginning and, and if everyone's if anyone's never been here before, we usually let them say hi. Um, uh, I don't know if that's the case here other than Scott and well, Hen uh, Henrik. Have you been here before? Uh, I think we just met though. Um, but do you want to introduce yourself for posterity for those that aren't here? And sure, sure. Uh, so I, my name is Henry Craigstead. I am uh, the cloud native advocate uh, working at Danatrace, and uh, my uh, yeah, my main mission and my my main topic within Danatrace is observability in uh, general and SREs. And uh, I recently uh, decided to start a YouTube channel uh, end of July of this year uh, to deliver tutorials on observability in general. Uh, so the, the channel is called Is It Observable? So anything anything that we try to, to do or to improve, I, I want to share it and make it easier to get started on those new framework or new technologies for the for the community. Oh, wonderful. Um, feel free to throw a link into the, into the docs. Uh, I, I'd love to check it out. Uh, sure. Uh, and and thanks for thanks for uh, uh, saying hi. Um, so so kind of the, the the main event here that I wanted to make sure that we got in before the end of the year if possible was to have Scott, uh, who's joining us from Tag App uh, Deploy and the GitOps Working Group, uh, talk a little bit about his experience forming the GitOps Working Group and Open GitOps. Um, as y'all know, uh, we're engaged in doing something similar, but in our domain uh, called observe-k8s.io uh, uh, and .dev. Uh, and we're hoping to, uh, in the beginning of January, uh, send a formal proposal to the TLC so they can vote up or down uh, the creation of the working group. And so right now we're at the primordial um, brainstorm launch what it is phase. Uh, so it's early enough that we haven't gone down too many roads uh, yet and, and, and some guidance and or uh, 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 advice would be would be super useful. So, um, with that, thanks for joining. And um, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to in, give a tiny intro to myself? Uh, yes, please. Okay. okay, great. Uh, how's my how's my my internet connection? Is it okay. Okay. Um, Video is choppy. Audio is good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, 
we'll do the best that we can. Um, I'm working off of a hotspot because of connectivity issues. So just please let me know if I need to repeat something and I'll be happy to do that. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, thanks for having me. I'm Scott Rigby. I, I am on the developer experience team at Weaveworks as my job in CNCF land. I, um, I co-maintain a couple of projects CNCF projects, um, Helm and Flux, and um, and the Open GitOps project that's in Sandbox that's newer. And I think that's why Matt wanted me to come and chat with you all today because we had gone through a similar process. Um, I'm in no way an expert, <laughs> you know, uh, at all. Um, but I but I I have gone through uh, some of this and we prepared quite a lot for. The GitOps working group um, and the and the Open GitOps project that it um, uh, I want to say spawned, <laughs> but in any case that is meant to be a lasting project uh, because as you all know working groups or I think you all know uh, or for anyone that's listening to this recording later um, CNCF working groups are part of technical advisory groups so the one that you all are talking about now is part of the observability tag. Um, the CNCF observability tag, and they are meant to be short-lived. Um, short-lived doesn't have a very a specific definition, um, but just really as long as necessary and no more than that. Um, they're really uh, solutions-focused groups or goal-oriented groups. Um, and so that was the case with the GitOps working group too, like other working groups. Um, but, and yet there was still uh, a desire to um, have perhaps something, not perhaps, definitely something more than just a single artifact. You know, say, say a working group could be formed to create a white paper. A working group could be formed to put on an event or something like this. Um, the GitOps working group, and I think it sounds similar to the Observe Kate's working group that, that Matt's talking about, um, is in has an intention to do, to have more lasting artifacts and to have a bit of a, um, uh, to need a little bit more structure than just perhaps a few artifacts that could be housed within the tag itself. Um, so that's the, that's the reason that we um, set out to create uh, a project in addition to the working group so that that, so the project can have those, can hold those lasting uh, documents, programs, and any, you know, code for interoperability or anything like that, that, that may be independent of specific pro other projects, you know, that would be more like a glue or, or, or something that would be uh, project neutral or vendor neutral. Um, yeah, so um, I can say um, that I don't have a formal presentation for this. <laughs> I meant to be rather informal, but I do have a various things to share. Um, so maybe just Matt and others, if you want to keep me honest here and also just maybe help keep me focused on things that matter to you, um, I can try in areas that matter more um, and less in areas that you, you might not care about. We'll, we'll do. I, th I think what you said is absolutely correct. You know, the, the observe, we, we're, we're just now forming a working group uh, uh, for this observe uh, case notion, and we do want this to live on well past the, the scope of uh, a working group uh, because they are time boxed and really for it to be a, a thing that will have a life of its own with its own maintainers uh, that's community driven. So. Did, did other people, did you want other people to introduce themselves uh, first before we dig into that or, or um, should we jump in or how would you like to do that? Uh, well, so I think I, I, I would I would just jump in, um, uh, you know, I guess maybe you could talk about like how how logistically within the framework of the CNCF uh, you went about establishing the working group like um, uh, we did establish a working group sort of informally to make a white paper almost a year ago, uh, but we just sort of self declared that there was a working group and we didn't really interact with the TOC or, or, or others much at all. Um, uh, for, for this effort, I think we're really looking to actively uh, 
attract contributors both to the tag as well as to this this working group um, and as such will be a little bit more public and so we want to make sure we're doing things the right way and we don't find out oops before we can do this we have to do that and you know um so maybe you could walk through like how you formed the working group and how that working group went about um in terms of governance and in terms of a, a process uh spawned open GitOps. and i'm not sure if everybody on the call is already familiar with those two things or not but, um oh maybe, maybe yeah i can introduce them briefly and then and then get into that uh and i can also I'll also cover how about um I'll, I'll focus things on things specifically that i wish we had done a little differently yeah that, that would be great and also uh yeah. in, informal is probably best you know we've had very few formal uh death by slides uh <laughs> as our modality so that's great okay cool yeah and we can always do that sometime if we want to um but uh yeah um so first of all um without getting into the the topic area of GitOps, you you all probably have heard of that and you might all know what that is um but there was not a um uh it happened to be a term that was coined by um alexis richardson who alexis richardson who's the ceo of weaveworks um most of you might know that or or you might not um and he's been very involved in uh cncf from from um from the early days and um and so on so on i don't really want to uh talk too much about him but but the reason i'm mentioning that is that um GitOps as a term was initially coined outside of any scope of of a foundation or 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 an open project um while at the same time there was no desire or even oh, i don't know there, or a possibility of um while you can coin that you can't um because of uh git uh trademark rules you can't um you can't trademark GitOps, get and and the idea was that it really should be open anyway. So um, the point is there there were different definitions that came. Um, in short, GitOps is a principle led uh, set of methodologies and so on. Um, but because because of that, the only principles that were put forward were principles that were put forward either by WeaveWorks as a company, a single company. Um, and there were different versions of that that came out over the years um, and by other people who um, were also uh, felt some ownership of this space and, and wanted to define their their own way. But there was no real central um, standard, no real central standard for for what the principles were or no agreement across different organizations. So that was the first task of the working group is we wanted to have a working group that that said, hey, from cncf we want some standards we want to we want to get everybody on board and 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 figure out um how to get on the same page so that that was that that was one of the that was one of the purposes and um the first thing was uh um alexis and other uh cornelia uh who was the former cto of weaveworks and others um yeah rich thank you Exactly. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the exact uh, link. Correct. Yeah, yeah. For for those interested in the logistics, the legalities and stuff, that's that's exactly the link to get to. Um, so yeah, uh, a few folks uh, did need to read talk out. with no people on the TFC. See, no one can see what I type in recording. So um, what what I just typed is I had assumed that Linux Foundation holds the Git trademark, but it's uh, which would have been easy for CNCF to to figure out. But it's held by a Software Freedom Conservancy, um, which I didn't know. So just for the YouTube audience, because else um, this is super confusing. Sorry, carry on. Thank you, thank you, Richie. Uh, and it's Richie, right? Did I say that correctly? Okay, great. Yeah, I I forget that if we are not using Zoom Cloud, people can't see the chat. Um, <clears throat> uh, yes, so. Um, Speaking of which, as a minor detail uh, for our public Zoom calls, because we're using Zoom now for the working group, um, we do save the chats. Um, we, we save both the recording and the chats to Zoom Cloud, and then we make sure to download those and make those available for folks after the fact who can only come asynchronously. So just a, a tiny detail I didn't want to forget because you had just mentioned that. Um, yeah, so so I'll try to keep that in mind when we paste, when we paste things. 
Um, so in short, the process was uh, talk to other people in this space, uh, get some sort of a meeting of minds, at least a little bit. It wasn't super official, but the idea was, hey, let's try to make let's try to make this official, right? Let's let's uh, see if we can if this makes sense to CNCF. Let's see if um, uh, ultimately the technical advisory group that that um, that GitOps was part of, and in this case, it was the um, it is the app delivery um, tag. And um, and then start from there. So this the it, you're in a very similar place now. You know this is the this is the observability tag, and you've got an intention to do this. It there's a discussion between people who are involved in the space. Um, uh, what we did was really right then, um, uh, without getting into exact who who talked to who. It was more like contact contacting the CNCFs, making the making the um, uh, the desire to have this working group um, officially recognized known, uh, because CNCF is you can you can make working groups. Um, that's within the scope of your tag. Um, you don't really need. There's no official form that I'm aware of uh, that needs to be filled out or a very specific process yet, um, if there ever will be. Um, but you do need things like if you want to make a um, a Slack channel. You want to, if you want a mailing list, a CNCF mailing list, and so on. All of those things are are uh, require the participation or the um, the support of the found of um, the foundation to help with that. It's like one of the reasons we're part of the foundation. You know, they help with infrastructure, so um, they'll help with all of that. Um, uh, one thing that was, um, well, I'll just say in terms of steps, just to stick on steps for a moment, um, you'll. The the observability excuse me the observability tag has a charter. Um, your your working group can also have a charter. It doesn't necessarily need one, um, but that's what the GitOps working group did was to create a charter. Uh, I think part of the reason some of the steps were taken um, that it was kind of so uh, so much effort was put into this is that it wasn't exactly clear at first what the GitOps this GitOps initiative was going to be. Whether it was going to be a working group, whether it was going to be a, a CNCF sandbox project to start, whether it was going to be both. So, in fact, there's some earlier confusion. If you ever look back and you're wondering what was this guy talking about, um, the the initial name for the sandbox project was also the GitOps working group. So that uh, was something I would change, uh, or that is something I would advise not doing. <laughs> you know, and I'm sure you probably won't, um, but. Uh, you know, not naming the working group the same as a, as a project because a working group is really meant to be in uh, the project is meant to be independent of a working group and eventually stand on its own. So, and the working group might do more than one. It might be a one to many relationship. You know, it might do, do more than 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 only focus on this project. Um, so, I would try to like just you know what's in a name. I would just try to think about that. Not too hard, but. That's one thing I'd avoid. Um, uh, you know, often that's putting the cart before the horse. Uh, generally, you probably do your work as a working group. Work on your work on what your work products are going to be. So, in the in the GitOps working group charter, um, uh, I can link to it in just a few moments. But there is a series of of um, of you know, it's very similar to your tag charter, right? Like it's got you know what's what's in scope. What's out of scope? What the goals are? What your alignment is with uh, with that tag and with other with other entities within CNCF and outside of CNCF, even if you know, um, uh, not even a full plan on how you plan to bridge all that, but just just a description of the alignment. And that's the governance document. Uh, not not yet. So 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 that that is it is it is actually sorry. Yes, it is ultimately your governance document for you. No, no, I mean like in, I just I just linked in like governance.md in the GitOps working group um, repo. Yeah, that's, um, that's let, let, let me um, let me uh, send you uh, it, an update on where we're at. That's right. one of the other things I would change is we had started a, a completely separate um, org GitHub org. And a separate GitHub repo for this. The reason was it was bootstrapped without, um, not without a plan, but without definite knowledge on exactly what it was going to be. And it all happened rather quickly because, as it turns out, um, 
everyone in the universe is interested in this topic. <laughs> so, so there are a lot of organizations to collaborate with, um, uh, and who who wanted to who wanted to co initiate the working group and help found the working group. So you might find the same thing or a similar thing with 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 this. <laughs> you know, there are a lot of players in the game, and um, it doesn't mean that everybody has to be appeased or anything like that. But that if there's value in having if you're if you're working toward um, some standardization of terminology or 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 or, or specs or anything like that, um, getting other organizations on board who have um, wide usership and clout um, could really could really help. That's 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 what we did. So there was um, so the the founding organizations and uh, I'm going to try to remember this correctly, but if I skip one, uh, whoever's watching this <laughs> recording, please don't kill me. So basically, it was. Uh, Amazon, Microsoft, GitHub, who I know is owned by uh, Microsoft, but is but uh, um, was still seen as a separate entity um, and still in many ways operates separately. Um, Codefresh, Red Hat, and Weaveworks. I believe that's that's all of the the orgs that got together to to um, to start the working group. And you could do something similar with with uh, with this one. Um, we. I would, in future, I would not suggest making your own GitHub org. I would make a folder inside of your tag observability uh, repo. And, and, and Matt, we're in the process of moving those files that are in that, that repo that you pointed to, the gitups-working-group-github-org slash gitups-working-group repo. Uh, uh, in, we're in the process of fin finishing moving those files into both the the app delivery tag repo. Most of the files that are relevant, I believe, are already there, um, and that's the the place now where that's the the source of truth for that at this point. And so PRs were re redirecting folks there, and we're just a little bit behind in in finishing moving it um, because some of the files had to go there, and some of the files were more appropriate to the project to the sandbox project, and so those got moved. Are, are being moved slash, I think almost fully moved now to um, github.com slash open dash GitOps. Um, that's the name right now because someone name slotted uh, open GitOps as an org um, while we were in the process of naming it. <laughs> so no. uh, we, yeah. we so, so, found out who. So yeah. we've so, so I've secured observe dash k eight s dot io and dot dev as well as the GitHub org, but we we're going to use that for the project as you had, as you had, as you just laid out versus having it okay. for the, the working group. The working group stuff would just live in our in our base repo. Um, that sounds. But we did want to make sure it had its own its own stuff. And in talking with Chris, um, uh, uh, we can donate all of that stuff. So maybe we'll get to it later. But like. That there's some process I'm told to, to donate things and then they'll reimburse whoever acquired those domains, et cetera. Um, yes. As part of like the initial launch, we were we, we would expect, I think, to, to give that to the CNCF so that they own all of that. But, but we're also still a little bit unclear on if there's anything we need to do around trademarks or, or anything like that for uh, the base name other than just the domain names. Uh, there, there are, and um, uh, luckily, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Luckily, the CN CNCF has a process for that um, that's very well oiled now. Um, ba basically, they, they will work with you uh, to open up an issue in the TOC repo and with a checklist. Um, I'll show you the issue for that. Uh, first, I just want to link um, two places these files actually live now um, and that we are archiving um, we're archiving this for the reasons that I mentioned to you before it was very valuable um, we, we actually had to move it a few times um, and uh, and for the sake of you know just um, trying to be good citizens of of, um, of git <laughs> especially given the namesake of this group, I made sure to um, to move all the commits properly, so everyone's contribution um, still carried over, still carried over to the new places. Um, you know, we just get filtered them out, uh, get filtered to the correct files, and um, 
and directories and so on. So um, if you do it the first time, you won't have to worry about that kind of thing. <laughs> you shouldn't have to worry about that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, uh, here is the, um, let's see. Uh, Yeah, I'm kind of transcribing into our into our notes. Uh, so, oh great. Okay, here is the issue for Open GitOps, and you'll see a similar issue for for your project onboarding when you um, for Observe Kates, uh, even if the name changes through that process, which Open GitOps did in our case. Um, we actually had we actually went through um, a re we actually went through the process of creating our governance, getting pretty formal about this. Um, having a, a very good meeting cadence and uh, making an outreach and making sure to bring folks on board, um, getting as many people involved in this space that has a stake in, in this subject um, area as, as we could, um, including folks from CD Foundation and, and whatever else, you know, outside of CNCF, right? Um, and then uh, going through, because we had that governance, we could go through, it was actually very helpful to go through, to use that, to go through the process of, of naming the project. So that's all been done transparently um, through GitHub issues or, and discussions. And I think the main goal is, or the main thing to keep in mind is uh, things can be a little bit messy. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to decide uh, in perpetuity what your processes are gonna be like um, before you even get started. I know you all probably realize that, but just that there is no there is no set methodology by CNCF saying it has to be this way. So you really, as the tag, get to decide how the working group operates. I would suggest starting a charter, not making a governance doc, um, as you as you can see inside of um, or not yet anyway, as you can see inside of the um, the tag app delivery GitOps dash WG folder that I linked just above. There's no governance file. Um, and that's because uh, that's because that now that lives in the open GitOps project. So, so this is generally useful. Working groups have a charter. Yeah, working groups have a charter generally, um, or or some something like that. Um, they can they do follow the tag charter, right, but they can have their own as well, or, or something like that in order to say, this is how the working group operates and just be really clear about how, how people can get involved, um, you know, what that, what that process is like. Uh, even if you don't know exactly what the roles are yet, you can just say, we have an interested parties document, which is what um, the GitOps working group did. That was a Google doc um, that's now in, in Git. Um, yeah, that's that's the process we've taken. Also, thanks for the feedback around there not being a super well formed process. I mean, that's been our we, we've kind of surmised that <laughs> de facto, but it's nice to hear someone who's done this before say, yep, you can just do it makes sense. Um, that's what we, we've done. And we have taken that doc to markdown approach. Hey, uh, Henrik, Henrik. Oh, he was saying goodbye. Sorry, I thought he was saying I want to. Talk. Um, yeah, so uh, I linked it. Uh, in the notes there, um, but we, we've been kind of partying on a working doc. Um, same thing, Richie, but we've been partying on a, on, on a working doc. Uh, that was actually your idea um, over the last month or so, just kind of low and slow, honestly. Um, you know, uh, and now it's gotten to the point where we're starting to get a little bit more of an idea uh, in critical mass. So, so. Awesome. That's great. Uh, it almost looked like Richie wanted to say something, or was that just you were? Oh, I'm sorry. He, he was saying that he has family stuff, and he he was only able to be here for the first half hour, but he'll watch the recording later, same as Henry. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Yeah, these all get. Well, I'll post this to YouTube and everything, so the folks, most of the folks actually aren't here. Um, like Michael Hausenblas and Ken Finnegan have been two kind of repeat uh, offenders, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. Okay, and and um, just out of just out of curiosity, just, uh, I know we're we're at a bit of a high level, which is good. Um, do you? Um, I'll put it in the chat right here. There's that doc I was talking about. Okay. Oh, great, great. Okay. And are are you recording this the cloud or locally first? 
and then uh, this is like the CNCF's thing. So this goes to okay. uh, the cloud, and then because we're not on, we're not yet on the community platform. Um, I think that's that's lined up for early next year as well with a logo and everything. So I just like download everything and then upload it to YouTube. And we're in the same boat. So I look forward to not having to do that anymore. Yes. <laughs> I'm a little behind on some of the past uh, the past meetings as well. So right there with you. Yeah, right there with you. Um, yeah, so the, the projects, the CNCF project that I work on, um, or, or, or help, or rather uh, co-maintain different parts of, um, none of them use the Bevy platform yet. None of them use community.cncf.io yet. So uh, there, when, when we were uh, looking into that uh, earlier last year, um, it was not clear yet whether that was going to be successful. And so we didn't want to move all of our <laughs> yeah, that, that's actually that. exactly us too. Like I went on to a couple of bevy things and it was full of like, how does this work? This doesn't work. Why doesn't this work for me? And it just seemed like a little chaotic. So I figured we would give it a quarter or two. And then, you know, in Q1 uh, of, of early next year, we would, we would get on it. We also weirdly didn't have a logo and that's still ongoing. We, we've had a couple rounds of logos and, and apparently once you have a logo that unlocks the skill tree of all of the other community platform stuff. So, um, well, what I would honestly, what I would say, oh, you mean a logo for the working group or a logo for the project? A logo for uh, a logo for the tag. Um, oh, the tag. Got and it. then we also will need, you know, logos and things for the project. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Does it does tag? Anyway, that's something I'm not really even aware of. Does tag uh, app delivery even have one? I'm not. I'm not sure. But um, in any case, yeah, that's cool. Uh, I didn't even know tags had logos. It was part, Amy said it was part of the whole tag logistics, you know, how to access all of the new stuff they set up. Um, like yeah. their workflow is like insert logo here and then everything falls out. And so we like had a logo design contest. We have a whole bunch of suggestions. Um, and I think we're, we had a third round back and forth. The CNCF has some artists as well. And uh, my kid's an artist. <laughs> if you know anybody else who's yeah. an artist, um, you know, we're still in the uh, take suggestions, but yeah. Um, Again, as, as I said beforehand, attendance has been a little muted in Q4, you know, between all of the conferences and all of the holidays, it's expected. Got it, got it. Okay, and, and that that was something I wasn't aware of. So today I learned uh, that, about that part of the part of the process for tags. Um, yeah, so so basically we had some a bit of back and forth um, because of that switching like, is it a working group? Is it a project? Is it both? Is it, do they have separate names? And so on. So I think when you set yours up, um, the things that CNCF will um, help with are A, you won't, you don't need a, um, a mailing, you shouldn't need a, um, a, ma a CNCF mailing list for the working group. Generally, yeah, no. you just use the, the tag. Yeah, the tag. And what one of the, the, the things that I do or that we do um, and said that we were going to do, and we put that on our readme for the working group, is when we use the tag app delivery mailing list um, for working group related things, we just prefix it with brackets like GitOps dash WG, just the same. Uh, we noticed that um, one of the other um, working groups did that on the mailing list. And we were just like, let's do that. And it seems to be, you know, one of those very informal things that you can do, doing uh, you know, as we're short on the tools to make it automatic just to make yeah. it easier well, well i guess in that same vein i don't want to derail i can wait till till you're done with whatever you wanted to cover first and, and hold on some questions or okay. we could go uh in line your, your choice um well this is really whatever's be most beneficial to you there's there's a few other things that i might that yeah why don't you cover that I because I, I i i could fill innumerable time with with questions and i have a few but but maybe they might already be answered okay. by the things that you had already your mark. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah. So I think I think what I'd like to cover is is really just some of some of the logistics about how sort of point A to point B, um, and um, like where at least in my experience putting the cart before the horse um, made extra work. Mm -hmm. uh, so you could switch that around, you know, for your your case. Um, and some of the tips, um, some of the things that we did for specifically for our governance that. I think was very helpful and not just I think that that the the working group and pe folks from the CNCF and other people have thought seems seem to think is very helpful because I know that they're pointing 
people to our governance as, an, as a good example. Um, and we try to we try to make it that way. Um, and that's governance for open GitOps. Yes, correct. And as so, we were going, the governance doc and the charter, or yeah, basically the governance doc and the charter and all of that was all files for the, the soon to be project and files for the working group were all mixed together. Um, mm -hmm. And that caused some, um, I don't wanna say problems, it just, it just caused extra work. It right. was more like a, a sketch pad in a way or a place to put things. Um, and it wasn't clearly delineated what sh which should be which and that's partly because they had the same name at first and so on so i think with you with yours it, it won't you can avoid that altogether by by stating very clearly that the working group has um a set of goals and or you could even say the working group has a charter um just to, to really clarify what it's for what's in scope what's out of scope how to get involved who's who's part of it um mm -hmm. what your alignment is um, within the tag and with other tags. And, and then there so were two. And just, yeah, and just save the governance doc, a document to, to specify governance, save that until um, the working group is actually putting together um, the, uh, the checklist of things to do to, mm -hmm. to, um, to create, um, to create the, um, the project. So now, I guess this does this does get into that question I, I was mentioning. So, once we create this this project and it has its own you know its own legs, um, what's the relationship between that and the CNCF, if any? Right, like if the project is you know, like, accepted like, into yeah, if the project is accepted into uh, as a, a CNCF box project then then the relationship is like any other CNCF sandbox project that uh, there are many more sandbox projects than, well, I guess we'll see, but the idea is that there can be many more sandbox projects uh, than make it to the incubation stage. Right, right. they might stay there forever, they might merge with other ones, they might be a bad idea, they might be a great idea, but the wrong format, you know, it's meant to be a little bit like a primordial soup, right? Where things bump yeah. into other things. And that's actually kind of okay. what, what we're hoping for. It was just like, you know, and I think we, we've just determined that, you know, given how few people are actually showing up and, and stuff, we're just going to be benevolent dictators at first. And, and you know, I, I have this kind of concept. I, I, what I meant by, and then there were two is like <laughs> on the call. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. uh, but, but, you know, yep. it, I don't know if you've seen the, the doc, but, but the, the basic idea was we, we went, I kind of went through our charter and 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 our mission statement for the tag, and it's in that the bottom of that doc. And I just bolded all the things that I thought this idea, this observe Kate's uh, site and and project uh, could help further. So in that way, it's you know the, it it's something that is within the umbrella and within the mandate of the tag. But you know, is I think if the tag launches it and it lives by itself, like the tag's been successful in its mission to do things of this ilk, right? Um, and so, so, so the idea is like you know, you come to a, a site observecades.io, uh, the dot dev uh, would might be in parallel, but it's specifically aimed at developers. The IO is aimed at whoever, right? And and maybe the first thing you'll see is some representation of you visiting the web server that's serving the page you just looked at, and then you can see how that web server is hosted atop Kubernetes, and then kind of use that as a doorway in to see what else is hosted, like here's some machine learning workloads, here's some database workload, here's, you know, um, and I just wanted to leave it at that and see what other people okay. kind of came up with, you know, whether it's UX and, and interesting UI stuff, or a, a site that is a normal site, but if you come in with AR glasses, maybe more happens, right? So it's, it, it kind of okay. is a, like a, a example first, you know, demonstrate what's possible with these tools and identify, you know, hey, we're just experimenting here, but look at all this stuff you can do today uh, and have it be an obvious ramp to say like, hey, you know, this kind of tooling, need, you know, there, there's huge opportunity uh, to, to innovate here and make it attractive for others to come in. Uh, and so we started enumerating a set of other other workloads other than the web server serving out observecates.io, right? Um, 
and I think we could do some really cool UX stuff, but I didn't want to be too authoritarian. But uh, now that it's been a couple of months, and as you had predicted, you know, we made a doc and like, you know, two or three people have showed up <laughs> to join me in this, you know, of the 700 in our Slack channel, right? Um, and we've started to flesh out what it might look like. Um, now that I see that it's, it's probably going to be a pretty small set until it's not, um, some other ideas I had around the UX for it might be like, you know, there's so many different tools in many cases to do the same functional thing. And that's okay. The CNCF is meant to foster this ecosystem, but perhaps like a slide up from the bottom or something or slide up out, out to the right side that has like things that you want to keep track of. So like as you're exploring the 10 different projects and the five different ways, you know, that you can look at and you can observe them using different tooling that's part of the CNCF umbrella. Um, maybe you want to okay. keep like bookmarks and you have like a, I don't know, just something interactive that, that is engaging. I'm not a front end person. So okay. like, a, like a plumber trying to like, you know, uh, give advice on on what fixtures <laughs> would look best in a room. I have no idea. Uh, but I know that there are people who do and, and we want to attract those people. So that makes sense. Uh, um, I didn't read all of this document yet, but um, I was skimming over it while while I was also listening to you talking, like mm -hmm. percent of my attention on you, twenty. On it's okay, I, I was doing. I, I've, I've been keeping notes uh, in the same thing, um, but I'm also on know. like a dating app and doing my bank. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. um, but but yeah, I mean, again, like um, we we saw what was happening with the GitOps working group, and and I think I had assumed that we had to have something extremely well formed before we could take it to the TOC for a vote so that they knew what they were voting on. But then I've had other people kind of say, all you need is an idea and some hope, you know, and just do it. And they'll say, yes. Uh, so somewhere between those is, is, is the truth. You know, what do you think was like the, the, what's the bar before we can actually make the working group in a real way? Um, I mean, do we just do it? I mean, we've effectively just done it, but you know. Um, um, I would say, yeah, I, that I big checklist is to launch I, open GitOps, not the work group, correct? Correct. Right. Correct. Yep. Yeah, there's there's a statement on um, um, that I can uh, uh, link you. Just give me one second here. Um, there we go. It is called. Oh, wait, no. Uh, I knew where to find it when it was under SIGs. Uh, I'll have to look. I'll have to look for it. But there's a statement that that describes what I had mentioned about the short-lived nature of working groups and um, the purpose of them and their alignment with tags. Um, that they're part of technical advisory groups, you know, formerly SIGs, and um, that is, as far as I know, the only place where where the requirements are actually set forth. Um, Okay. So we can find that and, and look at that. But I, I do think that you've already you you all have already done the work to create what you would need for a charter. It's all in this document, you know. Yep. Yeah, um, you were gonna do what you had suggested, like like at some point and I get maybe it's now based on this feedback, I will mark downify it, you know, and put it into our repo. Um what what's still a little unclear is if you look at the definition of tags in the TOC repo. Like there's a, there's an implication that the TOC approves and and you know agrees that a working group should exist and agrees on what the outputs are, but there's no that like might, that might actually be true. Uh, but but it, but I, the fact that I don't really see it, so we've just proceeded. <laughs> um, yeah yeah yeah. I, I think um, it's a good faith thing, you know mm -hmm. that that you're that we're you know that like these processes are getting better and better over a year i'll, I'll tell i'll tell you what like when when helm broke out from um or broke into a separate not broke became a separate project outside yeah. of the kubernetes project mm -hmm. um most of these processes that are here now were not there. exist yeah not that's been my yeah and so so we actually talked about this last time we met you know the working group with all four of us um and we just all agreed that like if there is a process is there if there is a formal thing we would much rather engage with it with something already in motion so that it's not you know because otherwise we're worried nothing would happen till the summer right we would just like dither and dither and dither so um yeah that's what we're gonna do so you know one thing 
one thing I'd say that worked well that I would I would recommend repeating is, mm -hmm. um, you know, you don't have like what you're doing now with these Google Docs uh, is a good it's a good thing. There's a working you have a working doc. Um, I'd say um, make uh, make a um, uh, a work in progress charter. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I plan to do that. Uh, I plan to do that a, a little later on this week. Um, yeah, the Google Doc was nice though because we could have threaded conversations, and it's sort of like a lower barrier to entry, and it's not on everyone's permanent GitHub record and all of that. So, right. And let, let me be clear. I think you should keep. I, I would. However, you do, you know, I, I would say like any questions about this, like obviously defer to, <laughs> obviously defer to uh, CNCF folks to answer them. But like in terms of my experience so far, just so that we can kind of each tag and working group mm -hmm. help, help each other, so that they have less overhead before you get to that point. Exactly. Uh, I, which I think is a really nice thing that you're doing is actually reaching out. I tried to do the same thing when it came to governance, so I reached out to a bunch of different. To, to different projects, people that were involved in projects that I, I, I knew and I, I, or that I didn't know yet and just wanted to try to understand what worked, what didn't, et cetera. So I think you're doing, I, just from my point of view, you're doing a good thing by trying to be very interoperable and, or uh, sorry, um, uh, collaborative uh, and have some cross-pollination between these groups and tags. And yeah, it, it occurs to me too, this is completely random and off topic sort of, but it is germane. I had an action item like a month or two ago to go make a couple issues in the get in the app deploy repo to suggest um, one, a change to the charter to say observability and app deploy are related observability is an interested party. I think there's that. And then there was something else that we've actually talked about weirdly in this GitOps working group but it's not specific to that. Not, uh, I'm sorry, the Observe K eight's working group, um, uh, and I think there's there's broad agreement that if we had something like open metrics um, for deployments or stateful changes to production environments, you know, this kind of that that's an open standard, particularly as GitOps plus full automation. You know, GitOps, GitOps particularly uh, it can really help with regulated environments and compliance and whatnot. Uh, so I think there's both the industry need for it. I think the CNCF would care about it because it would foster an ecosystem of interoperable tools. Uh, but in the context of, hey, how do we show people stuff? You know, one of the things we came across is like, well, how do we know when deployments happened and what what they were? And 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 so, you know, there were some there was some thought that we should make like an API, like an actual Kubernetes API or something like that. Um, I personally think that just a data format, like you know, open metrics is not an API, it's a wire format that just says it's structured like this and APIs might expose it or not, but um, that might make it the broadest possible thing and, and also make it something that could eventually be an RFC uh, at IETF. Um, that, that makes sense. Well, when, when you make, so I would say when you make, um, if you want to look at, an, uh, <clears throat> if you want to look at the GitOps working group, charter for inspiration the one that's in the app delivery tag at that link below or that link up above oh, right. i'm sorry that was all going to a question is the GitOps working oh. group uh actually engaged in having that as a work stream or is it more about what are the principles of GitOps and you're not actually trying to make an open standard come out of that uh well we um let me just keep myself honest here by looking at the charter Oh, you know what? Uh, the recording is going to auto stop pretty darn soon. It's like a, the CNCF schedules it for 50 minutes and like 52 or something. It just, the recording drops. So maybe we should okay. call it here and I can follow up with you on that last question. Because again, it's not really germane to this. And I, I, no, I, and that I sounds really, good. <laughs> um, I would say, in short, I would say like in a, a two second version is, is um, describe the work products that that are required for this group that you really think are very important and any other ideas on top of that don't put in your a list of work products in your charter um make that something that you can advise together as a group but okay yeah okay uh well thank you again before we drop off maybe we can we can close it with grace um thanks for having this i guess what turned into an interview uh versus a, <laughs> versus a, a discussion with more than two people but um again i think some other folks said that they were going to look at the recording so um thanks again for for your for your guidance and, and whatnot yeah any i mean 
whatever will help. And I'll, I'll be happy to do this again with you and with yeah. the folks. This, this helps immensely. So uh, yeah. have, a great, have a great holiday and all that. Uh, I'll follow up in Slack in just a minute. You too. Cool. Bye. Bye.